Okay, guys. So in the last part, we uh, we started implementing our interaction controller, and now we just have to finish it. So let's double click on it to open it. So once we have it open, let's. I will need two private variables. So I will add a region actually for private variables. So I will call them private, and I will move this down. And I will add two new private variables. So first variable I'll need is a bool that will check if we are actually if we are currently interacting with something so I'll call it m underscore interacting and I'll need one more float which will be a timer for how long we hold our interact button so I'll call it I'll call it hold timer so it will be our timer. So now let's go down. As you can see, we have this check for interactable done. And now we have to finish our check for interactable input. So let's start. So first we want to check if we have something in our data. So we go to interaction data, we access is empty. So we check if our interaction data is empty and I will put exclamation mark at the beginning to check. No, <laughs> no exclamation mark. I'll just check if it's empty, then return. So we will do nothing if there's no interactable in our data class. So next we have to check for our press. So we check if we click something. So we access interaction interaction input data. We get into our interact clicked and once we click something, we want to set our M that interacting to be true. And we also want to set the timer to be zero since we just started clicking. After that, we want to check for the moment that we release our mouse button, our interact button, sorry, and it's called interact released. And once we release it, we want to set interacting to be false. And also we want to reset our timer. So here's the most important, not m.com, it's m.hold timer. Uh, most important uh, statement that you have to check. And now once we done them, done this, we want to check if we are interacting. So we check if interacting. So this will be as long as we hold the button. So if we start start click if we click interact button, this will be set to true and it will stay true till we release our button as you can see here. So this statement will be called repetitively till we until uh, till we are holding our button. So first thing we want to check is that if our interactable is actually is interactable. And if you remember the interactable, if I can, I can show it to you. Interactable has this, not this, base interact, interact, interactable base. So as you can see, uh, it has this getter boolean that says if this interactable is actually interactable. So we want to check for this first. So we want to check if interaction data that interactable. And we want to check if it's interactable. So we access is interactable property and we want to add the exclamation mark at the beginning to check if it's not interactable, then we do something. So if it's not interactable, we want to return. So we will do nothing. If it's not interactable so after that we want to check if we are holding the button so we check if our interact interactable is hold interact type so we checked for interaction data and uh, interact <laughs> so we check interaction data and we access this interactable and we want to check if we need to hold interact in order to interact with this 
interactable. So I know that there's a lot of interactable words here, <laughs> so it can get a bit confused, but I hope that you get it. So if we need to hold it, we just basically will increment the hold timer, so we will add to it uh, time that delta time, and we want to check. Okay, and after we add the time, we want to check if this hold timer like passes through the required time to hold required hold time of our interactable. So let's check it. So we want to check if and that hold timer is greater or equal to our interaction data that interactable that hold duration and if we pass our hold duration we want to interact with it so we just basically say interaction data that interact so this will interact with our our interactable so after we interact with we just want to reset our interacting boolean to be false so we finish interacting and yeah so this is the first case and the second case is that our interactable uh, does not require to hold it so you just press e and you interact with it so it will be in the else state and here we just do interaction data that interact so we just interact with it immediately and we reset our interacting to be false so that will, will be it for this method and now we can actually check if it works so let's go to the interactable base and as you can see uh, we have this method on interact and this will be called once we interact with it so you can see that we have a debug.log method that uh, will be called once we interact with it so let's check if it works okay guys so once we are back uh, into our editor uh, just click on the interactable here and let's check its settings so as you can see uh, I have hold duration to be zero and I have hold interact disabled so it will interact immediately once I click E on my keyboard so let's click play and let's go to our interactable and let me see something so okay so if I click E now you can see that I have set interacted and I have the name of the cube uh, <laughs> the name of the game object that I interacted with so it's very nice so now let's check if the hold duration is working so I'll set it to be three seconds for example and I have to enable hold interact and now if I play and I approach it and you see that uh, you can't really see anything but if I click on my first person controller and I click on this icon here and I go to the debug mode you can see that I can see private variables so you can see the hold timer here so once I start clicking just look at the hold timer variable so you can see that it's going up and once it reaches free it will set interacted with cube to be true and yeah and it's working very nice okay guys so I think that will be it for this uh, tutorial and in the next one, I think we will do something more uh, nice, but as you can see, it's working. It's very nice. So thank you guys for watching and see you guys in the next one. Bye.